<sighs> In a time when our country seems to be going backwards, in a time when we seem more divided as a group more than ever before, and in a time when many Liberians have question and uncertainty about our future, do you find yourself wondering most of the time? Wondering about what is going on with us? Wondering why is this happening to us? Wondering where are we going as a group? When will things change for us? How did we get here? Who is responsible for this? Where did we go wrong? Where did our ancestors go wrong? What can be different for us? Why so much tension? Why so much confusion? Why are we so vulnerable? What's going on? Why can we not catch a break for something good to happen to our country and our group, but instead we're always finding ourselves wishing and praying for better days? Why can we not catch a break for once? What's going on here? What's going on, my people? Do you find yourself feeling like this most of the time? And if we can be honest with ourselves, do you find yourself feeling like this all the time when it comes to you as a Liberian and everything about your country and your group? Are you sick and tired of trying when it comes to your people and your country? Now you say, I gave my people and my country one more strike. If another Liberian of my country pissed me off, I will throw in the towel. I will give up and never to look back. Or are you at that point right now? Have you given up on your country? Because you have seen enough, you have heard enough, and you experienced enough? Are you at that point? Are you sick and tired of going on social media? Or reading and watching the news? And feeling embarrassed to be a Liberian? Feeling embarrassed because of the news that comes out of your country? News like rape that goes on in our country? The raping and other form of sexual abuse by our women of all ages, from the babies to the teenagers to the grown women, none of them are safe. Do you hear news like that and break down and regret why is it that you are a Liberian? News like what happened at the African Union? Your country can't pay fees? Your country can't provide documents. As a result, they were kicked out. Are you sick and tired of feeding your mouth with garbage like negative self-talk about your people and your country? And negative self-talk like we are cursed? The current condition of our country and of our people is because we are bad luck? Do you find yourself having more questions about your country and group than you have answers? Do you? If you answer yes to that question, then today wake up call for you, for me, and for us, the general Liberian population. Today we will be talking about breaking rules. Something we all follow most of the time, yet we don't make time to question it. I won't warn you right now that some of you will disagree, with what did Akami say? Some of you will disagree with what did Akami say not because it's not true, but because you're not used to thinking it way. Because you see, rules in general are guidelines to our behavior so our action and thoughts can be directed towards the growth, the security, and peace of our group. That is the purpose of rules. Now in order for a rules to work, it has to meet the requirement of three things. The change of time, the people, and the environment. These rules in the academic world, 
They call them morals. So when the rules meet the requirement of the three things we mentioned, the change of time, the people and the environment, it becomes moral. If it doesn't meet it, it's considered immoral. Because you see, rules are not static. Rules evolve, rules change. But a lot of change and evolution is driven by rule breakers. Let me show you. Martin Luther broke the rules of the Roman Catholic Church. Mahatma Gandhi broke the rules of the British Empire. And Martin Luther King Jr. broke the rules of the segregated South. As you can see, heroes from all walks of life, they all broke the rules. And by breaking the rules, they brought good to a large number of people in their society. But they all pay a very high price for breaking the rules. Question to us as a general Liberian population, what rules must we break? What rules? What rules must we break to evolve and reshape our culture? Because those rules no longer meet the change of time, current Liberians, and our environment. And you see, most successful individuals, most successful group, and most successful nations, they all break rules every day. Therefore, rules that restrict us more than they enable us as a group deserve to be broken. Rules that restrict us as Liberians more than they enable us as Liberians deserve to be broken. Rules that restrict us as a nation more than they enable us as a nation deserve to be broken. Rules that restrict us more than they enable us as humans, as citizens, deserve to be broken. So in closing, rules protect the status quo. Rules don't encourage or start growth. Rules don't start innovation. Rules don't start change. Rules shape our culture. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying all of this to encourage violence. But I'm saying this as a form of encouragement, as a form of motivation, and as a form of inspiration. That's all I'm saying. So my question to you, me, and us as Liberians, what rules must we break? What rules must we break to evolve and reshape our culture? Because those rules no longer meet the change of time, current Liberians, and our environment.